So as you heard a Lauren report in the last half hour, the United States will see the biggest invasion of cicadas since 1803. And while Alabama won't get the worst of it, we're going to feel and hear it. I'm sure you've heard the sound. That's it. So imagine a trillion of those spreading out across the Midwest and the Southeast. So here's the thing. If you don't know what a cicada looks like, here they are, aren't they beauties? This year, two broods, as they're called, will emerge. Brood 19 is on a 13-year cycle. Brood 13 year is on a 17-year cycle. They haven't matched up since 1803. So in this madness of the sound and the emerging insects, artists, as they do, will see something we all missed, and this is Madison Bean. She's one of those people that bring a different way to looking at things, especially at the emerging sound of trillions of cicadas. I was always very certain about the things I did, like that made me me. It's like, I do know that I like playing in the dirt. I do know I like reading books and just um, being able to explore and question things. Madison Bean's world is a canvas. Her observations, brush strokes. I love this. Yes, I love him too. He's kind of in between, like, is he going to move forward or is he gonna go back to like, Go back to the sheeps. An accomplished artist from a family who embraced what art can bring to life. Madison's work's been on exhibit for art and photography lovers. And one show in particular has a kinship with that trillions of cicadas that you keep hearing about. The cicadas, it's gonna be too weird for people, but then lo and behold, I mean, even like this show happened two years ago and people still send me cicada stuff and they're like, oh, I thought about this with you. It's not exactly American Gothic. It's not exactly the dogs playing poker, but a slice of art like water going downhill that finds its way to those it resonates with and maybe more importantly resonates for. There's something about these bugs that people you just can't get away from them. I can't get away. Like I've tried to like I kind of have been working on other collections since then and uh, just trying to grow those and get those out. But um, I feel like something just keeps calling me back. Finding art where so many don't walk or look is wired into Madison's DNA. Pictures of me from when I'm younger. I mean, I have paint all around me and I'm wearing these like over the top, just like accessories and just um, making up little scenes and taking pictures with my mom's camera. And I grew up just looking at my dad's film slides. And that continued throughout her life until she was searching for art that spoke to her. When like most of us, she realized cicadas and their song provided the backdrop to much of our lives. Kind of like the symbolism of just like, their lifespan and what they've kind of contributed just to me growing up, just in the summer nights hearing cicadas and everything. And so I started playing around with just them being the main character and not just like a <laughs> something in the background, if you will. And in the smallest of life around us, Madison Bean shows us what we can learn about ourselves. It does take a lot to separate yourself and create that bubble that you live in. Right. Um, we're trying, but Danielle says no on the cookies. Madison Bean is always working on art projects and we'll keep you posted on when her next one is scheduled. Pretty cool story there. Yeah. Coming up for you.